Hello Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru and welcome to an epic Zagbox video. As you can see, I have not one, but two boxes full of stuff from my good pal Zagnorch. And uh, it's always fun to go come home with a little Norch on the porch. And I had that honor twice this week, uh, twice this last week. Uh, once early in the week and then again on Friday when I got home from work. So I'm going to start with this small box and I'll open this up and um, show you guys everything inside and then we'll move on to this behemoth in front of me. So first we have this manila envelope here and what is inside? It's Michelangelo! Yeah, little Michelangelo beanie baby will be a, with his little hanging nunchuck there. Actually, one on each of his, uh, one he's holding in each of his hands. So, pretty awesome. This will definitely be a uh, decoration on the shelving behind me. So, thank you, Zag, for that. Pretty cool setup. Also, this fun little Mario Kart 8 Deluxe um, Rubik's Cube. That's pretty cool. So, that'll be a nice decoration for the game room. Let's see, we've got a Nintendo Switch game card case. This holds 24 games and uh, that's good because the two little mini cases that came with my carry case that I have, they are full and I have more games than will fit. So this will be nice to be able to take with me uh, when, I, <clears throat> when I travel. Let's see here, we've got a oh, World of Nintendo Tom Nook. Little Tom Nook figurine, pretty cool. Oh my, oh yes. This is awesome. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Power game, uh, board game. So awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure who I'm going to find to play this with me or how, how many uh, TMNT fans there are in the city that I'm in now, but very cool to have this um, at a minimum, and this is in really good shape, but at a, as a, at a minimum, this will be a nice decoration for the game room here, but I would like to actually sit down and play it. Maybe I can get my nephews to play this with me. They'll probably enjoy that. <clears throat> All right, so that is the small box. Now to dig into this gigantic box. Holy mackerel. There is a lot of stuff in here. Woo! All right, well, let's start with some... Uh, let's see, we've got some PlayStation 2 stuff. We'll go ahead and, and uh, take a look at that real quick. Get some of this kind of separated out. Kind of do a little swoop here. All right, so we've got Chess Master. Fight Club. Conflict Vietnam, Egg Mania, Egg Stream Madness, always enjoy those puns, Kill Switch, Gran Turismo 3 A Spec, <clears throat> Gladiator Sword of Vengeance, which funny enough I grabbed the Xbox version uh, just yesterday as I'm filming this. Flow Urban Dance Uprising, which uh, works with the iToy camera. I need to get me one of those at some point. <clears throat> A sealed copy of Jumper, based on the movie. And we've got Jet X2O, which uh, looks like a jet ski game. 
and has some pretty crazy scenery. All right, we've got a universal game selector for a, uh, it says it's for all DS consoles. So you can pop up to three cartridges in there and then attach that to your DS through the cartridge slot. And then there's a little selector on the back that you can use. But it says it works for the DS Lite, DSi, DSi XL, and the 3DS. So I'll have to give that a whirl. Let's see, we've got some GameCube games here, a couple of them. We've got Player's Choice version of Spyro, A Hero's Tale. <clears throat> Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo and World Series of Poker official game got a couple of Wii games here we've got uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids TV Party and Mario Strikers Charged Got some PlayStation 3 stuff here. Let me see here, yeah. Got Little Big Planet 2 Special Edition. Red Dead Redemption. <clears throat> Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition. God of War 3, Ratchet and Clank Future, A Crack in Time, speaking of time, Time Crisis 4, <clears throat> uh, let's see, Zank picked me up a couple of PS4 games that we got cheap, uh, we got Star Ocean, uh, Integrity and Faithlessness Day 1 Edition <clears throat> and once I get my PS4 looking forward to this one Transformers Devastation which is made to look like the uh, actual Transformers cartoon that I grew up watching and has Devastator which I actually owned as a kid see there's an Xbox game here and that is uh, Tetris Worlds. Some more PlayStation 2 stuff here. Oh, looks like there's a whole bunch. Let me, uh, let me start with these. Of course it wouldn't be a, a proper Zag box without some PSP games. So we got Shrek, Smash and Crash Racing. We've got uh, World uh, FIA World Rally Championship. MLB and Iron Man and let's see here oh my gotta get out my box cutter I've got there are boxes within the box <clears throat> so we've got Link this is uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass uh, plush. Pretty cool. That'll be a nice decoration for the game room in here. We have a Disney Infinity 3.0 Darth Vader. So he no longer has to find my lack of Disney Infinity characters disturbing. Oh, let's see. We've got a Skylanders Trap Team figure here. This is Blaster Mine. Another one to add to the collection. Oh. Got some stuff in paper here. Oh yes, I've been waiting on this. Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super NES. And this is complete in box. He showed this to me and uh, asked me if I wanted it and I said absolutely. So now this is my second boxed SNES game 
in addition to uh, Magic Sword. So very cool to have that. Might be interesting to play that and then play the Saturn version and kind of compare the two. Okay, got some 360 games here. So we've got Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition with a Battle for Battlefield 4 Beta. Hitman Absolution, which I just picked up uh, another version of that. Dragon Age Inquisition. Dishonored. Battlefield Hardline. <clears throat> Platinum Hits version of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Uh, along with Viva Pinata. It's a dual pack there. And then a vanilla version of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Along with Assassin's Creed 3 GameStop Edition, which has a free mission and a free weapon. We've got a Resident Evil 4 preview disc on GameCube, which is kind of a neat uh, item if you think about it. Um, that they would market it and literally just have a demo in its own dedicated full game case like that. So pretty cool. Got some Xbox games here. Oh yes. Robotech Battle Cry. Uh, I mentioned on my recent pickups video that I didn't realize that this came out on the Xbox. Well, it's been long enough since he's been collecting this stuff more for me that I forgot that he got it. I do remember this though, Area 51. Pretty cool, uh, looks like a third person alien shoot 'em up. We've got Superman Returns, which was underrated by the way. We've got Superman, the Man of Steel, and Serious Sam. Pretty cool stuff there. We got Oh yes. Let me get this out of the bag here. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is a rock band portable drum kit for the Xbox 360. Being a drummer myself, this is pretty cool. And so um, I'm pretty sure I've got at least one of the Rock Band games. I've got Rock Band Beatles uh, on the 360. So might have to break this out and do a little Ringo action there for myself. And the other items uh, in the bottom of this section here. Oh yes, we've got Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Brady Games Guide and Brady Games Tekken 5 Official Strategy Guide. Pretty cool to have that. Get this portion out of the way and now we have a tumbling wall of games falling down. Oh, a bunch more PS2 stuff it looks like, but there's a couple of pieces up top here that are wrapped up. Oh, that's right. That's right. Zagnorch scored me a pair of 360 controllers. Very cool. So this has um, a deal where you can put in your your uh, AA batteries rather than a battery pack and <clears throat> so now I've got three standard Xbox 360 controllers to work with my system. These two white ones and a black one that came with my um, 360E 
and then my Tekken, uh, my Tekken 6 joystick. Pretty cool. Let's see, what is this? It is all wrapped up. Oh, yes. A PlayStation 4 Universal uh, Media Remote from PDP. So, again, once I get the PS4 here hopefully soon, uh, probably after tax time, then uh, I'll be able to use that to just do some media stuff. Pretty cool. <clears throat> all right. Let's move on to all these PS, uh, PS2 games here. Got Zone of the Enders, which has a Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty Trial Edition playable demo. So now I've got both Zone of the Enders games on PS2. X-Men Legends, which I had on Xbox, but not PS2. World Tour, which uh, looks like a scooter game. PS2 version of Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. Turok Evolution. Again, had that on Xbox, but not, uh, not PS2. The Thing, which I've had on Xbox for a while now, but not PS2. <coughs> we also have huh, another one. The Suffering, which I've had on Xbox for a while. Stuntman. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Spider-Man. Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, Greatest Hits. And Sly Cooper and the Thievus Raccoonus, Greatest Hits. Okay, we got a whole bunch more here. Let's go ahead and get these all stacked up. We've got Mad Maestro, <clears throat> Marvel Alliance Special Edition Greatest Hits, Resident Evil Outbreak. This is um, the King of Fighters 11, and this was still with 2D art. I know at some point they kind of switched over to um, 3D art. Namco Museum 50th Anniversary, pretty cool. Lots of good games on here. Dragon Spirit, love that game. Mission Impossible Operation Surma. <clears throat> Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which I've had on GameCube for many years and have at least the disc on Xbox. Rebel Raiders, Operation Nighthawk. Orphan, Scion of Sorcery. Always been curious about this one, but never played it. The original Rumble Roses. Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Resident Evil 5th Anniversary Edition with a bonus Devil May Cry demo included. I think this is my third variant of this game for the uh, PlayStation 2. And Reservoir Dogs. Oh, okay. And looks like there's one more box in here that I'll need to break open. Oh, yes. Okay. There is a tiny little uh, TIE Fighter pilot. I'm not sure if he goes to anything that's in there, but he was just sort of sitting on the top. Oh, there's another one. Another tiny little TIE Fighter pilot. <laughs> We'll set those aside for the moment and see what else is in store here. Oh, well, there you go. We have, I think this is a TIE Interceptor. So those guys probably go down into this bad boy. 
pretty cool. That'll be a nice uh, decoration to go along with my land or my snow speeder up here. We'll set those here with those two guys. We've got a Skylander Supercharger, Dive Clops. We've got Skylander's Trap Team. This one is Jawbreaker. Pretty cool looking enemy there. Almost looks like something that could have been a mid-boss in a Mega Man game or something. Kind of a similar design uh, look and feel here. Uh, let's see, this is a Skylander's Giants. Complete but separated here. This is Swarm. Another pretty cool design character there. We've got uh, Skylanders, Superchargers, Shark Shooter Terrafin, and this one is Skylander Superchargers Nitro Stealth Stinger, which appears to be a Target exclusive, or Target. I'll say to be fancy. Uh, let's see here. There is Skylanders Imaginators Master Barbella. Uh, Skylanders Trap Team Kaboom. No resemblance to the Atari 2600 game, even though. I believe this is an Activision property. Skylanders Trap Team Thunderbolt with an awesome looking sword. And Skylanders Giants uh, set here with Pop Fizz, Whirlwind, and Trigger Happy. And Whirlwind almost looks like Spyro with a unicorn horn and feathered wings. So, a little bit of inspiration from their the original property that birthed the series. A couple of additional manila envelopes in here. Oh, let's see here. We've got a PS Vita compatible AC adapter. Don't have a Vita yet, but um, he picked that up for me, so I'd have one for whenever I stumble across one in the wild. We'll be looking at uh, garage sales this year. Here is a Sega Game Gear Game Genie. And wow, this thing is immense. Pretty interesting though. It's got the little uh, section back here for the booklet. Pretty interesting deal. The Game Gear Game Genie. And looks like this might be the last of it. Ah oh, yes, yeah, some Nintendo DS games. So we've got Art Academy. My French coach. I can learn to speak French if I want. And Style Savvy. So that is the incredible, epic uh, Zag Box this time around. With two boxes worth of just all sorts of cool stuff. Lots of games, tons of cool stuff that I can use to further decorate my game room. Man, this is awesome. Huge shout out to Zag Norch for collecting all of this stuff over the last few months and holding on to it for me uh, until I got moved into the new place and got it all set up and uh, was ready to go and he shipped it to me here and man, this is pretty incredible. So um, what do you guys think? Uh, any of this stuff cool? Are you guys into Skylanders? Um, I, I still haven't played any of these games yet, but I really need to now that uh, now that I have some of these figures, I need to start seeking out these games. Um, so if so, tell me which platform you think I should be uh, trying this out on, and I'll have to scare up a, a game and one of the little uh, stations that you plug in so that you can set the figurines down on them. 
Um, although, I'm not 100% sure for the ones that aren't open yet that I want to open them. But some of these have been opened, um, and so I might just, uh, might just reopen them so that I can use those figures. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, anyway, let me know what you think about some of this cool stuff here and um, what, uh, what are the games do you guys think are uh, games I should be spending some time on? Or what are some of your favorite games of the stuff that I've unpacked? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to a fellow YouTuber. His name is Norin Rad Turbo. Um, and <clears throat> he is, he does Let's Plays and he does uh, game footage and stuff like that. He's done a bunch of different things. Um, he puts out a lot of content and he's been a huge help to my channel because every time, almost every time I upload a video, he retweets it uh, on Twitter for me. And so many thanks to Norin Red Turbo for doing that. I'll have a link in the description below to his channel. Make sure you go check it out and uh, give him a sub because he's got some cool content. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.